Welcome to the first module of the Early Childhood Education Program, Curriculum, Design, Implementation, and Assessment. The program of e-mentorship is designed in order to foster your professional growth. You will not be alone, but you will have steps in which you share your results with your mentor, explaining your choices and how they align with the proposal theories and references. Brainstorm with your mentor to adjust and refine your designs. Thus, welcome to the first module of your early childhood education curriculum, Design, Implementation, and Assessment. It is designed to equip early childhood educators with the foundational knowledge and practical skills needed to thrive in preschool educational settings. The module encompasses a diverse range of topics, including the various educational models applicable to early childhood, developmentally appropriate practices, and the integration of technology within educational programs. Educators will delve into creating engaging learning environments, planning effective activities, and utilizing various materials and resources. The module further explores integrating play into learning processes, managing classroom dynamics, adapting teaching strategies to meet individual needs, and fostering collaborative teaching and learning environments. A significant focus is also placed on assessment techniques, from observational methods to using assessment data to inform instructional decisions. By the end of this module, participants will be adept at designing, implementing, and evaluating early childhood education programs, ensuring a holistic and adaptive learning experience for all children in their classrooms. In this module, you will learn how to create a stimulating, safe, and inclusive classroom environment that promotes learning, exploration, and social interaction among preschool children. Begin by reviewing the basic principles and practices of the Reggio Emilia approach, which views the learning environment as the third teacher and emphasizes its central role alongside parents and educators. You will learn more about this approach and others in the module. Thus, you will explore how to effectively organize indoor and outdoor play areas in the school to fully support children in your classroom. Identify any areas in your classroom layout that do not support an optimal arrangement, considering elements such as space utilization, quiet and active areas, learning centers, play equipment and materials, and safety. Sketch a layout of your ideal classroom, labeling different areas and explaining their purpose. Consider cultural inclusivity and how your design will accommodate children of all abilities and backgrounds. Then get to work. Dive into your learning journey with enthusiasm and dedication. Start learning. Good work.